Hello and welcome back to Teach Me Money Methods. In this video, I'm going to be doing a just a tutorial on how to make a coloring by number coloring page in Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's jump in. So we're in PowerPoint right now, and I'm just going to go ahead and create a new page. So I'm just going to say new slide. And then right here, I'm going to go into my add-ons, add-ins, and you can certainly change the layout and size of your page manually, but I just use this add-ons that I have. It's a Bose publishing tool, and I can just select whatever size I want, and then I'm going to go with 8.5 by 11, and it'll just do it for us, which is really cool. I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, this right over here, and then I'm going to go back over to insert, and we're going to insert one of my images. All right, so we've uploaded an image. This one's actually from one of my coloring book packs. So it's just a rocket. And so what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of shrink this down, make the canvas a little bigger, zoom in a little bit. All right, so then what we can do here is, you can just go up to insert and go to text box. And I'm just gonna put that up here like this. And we can say that we're going to use a blue color and equals blue equals one. And let's just do maybe, let's just do three for the example today. So we're gonna do red equals two and yellow equals three. So that's gonna be our key. And then what we'll do is we'll go insert shape and just do a little box right here, about right here. And that is already blue. So then we will um, grab this and copy and we'll paste it twice. And we'll just kind of move that where it goes. And I just kind of figured this out the other day. I'm going to start doing uh, more of these. There's different ways you can do it but this is the simplest that I found. So now we can take the, the this right here and just go to shape fill and make this red and then go here and make the shape fill yellow. So we've got three basic colors here. So then now what you wanna do is do another insert and do a text box. And we're just gonna make a little text box and we're gonna make this number one for blue and you can put it anywhere. And then I'm gonna grab that and just do a, a copy paste and we can do another one right here for simplicity and then we'll do another paste and we are gonna need to make this a little bit smaller so come up here and make it a little bit smaller and then sometimes i'll even use the arrow keys try to find a bigger spot to put this and we might have to make it just a little bit smaller and then use the arrow keys so then has a number on it. And then also we want to make this a different color. So let's make this number two. So then we have the number two in there and then you just continue with this, right? Copy paste. And you know, we have maybe, maybe just align them all up at first and then, okay. So this is what it looks like. And we'll zoom back out a little bit. When you have your page, you have a number. And so when you give this to, you know, the person that's going to color it, most likely a child, they're going to grab this and they're going to look at the number one and they're going to go over to their key and they're going to color it blue. They know if they recognize the word blue, they'll easily be able to identify that. And then if they also recognize the color blue, they can also, so then you would just go with one. And so then what I would do is I want to go file. We're going to save as. Uh, real quick, we're going to save this just to downloads and we'll make this a PNG file and we'll save it and just the one, right? So now we saved it and then what I'll do is I'll go over and there's plenty of things you can use to do this, but I'm, for simple, simple purposes, I'm just going to use paint, which is just a free application on a PC. I'm going to go file open. And we will go to downloads and grab the one that we just um, created, right? And then now what you can do is use this fill bucket over here. And you can use this for a finished product, for a mock-up if you're selling this on Etsy or something, or if someone wants to color this on their computer, or this just kind of gives an idea really quickly of what it will look like when they actually color it. So the paint bucket fill, and then we will go with a blue color right here, and then you just color it, right? So color all the number ones with a blue. And I think that's all the number ones I had on there. 
So then we're gonna go with number two is red. So we're gonna click that and we're gonna fill the number twos with red, right? And so forth. And there's a number two. And simply number three is yellow. We're gonna come over here and fill the number threes with yellow. And just, I did miss a couple little things right there. We're gonna go ahead and just make those blue. We'll come back and make those blue. So really simple. You have your color by number, really simple, and that's what it'll end up looking like. And then you can go file, uh, save as PNG, and then you can have that as well. This is a very simplified version of color, uh, making one with a, a color by number. Now, if you have something that's more compl complex and you want to actually break part of this up, you can go in and use different tools in here. Like you could use a shape or something, maybe a shape. And if you needed to make a line across something, Right. You could make a, a line across and you could make that, make it black, and then it will actually separate. And you could actually have this number one, you, you know, you could separate different shapes if you wanted to with a line itself by creating a line. So hope you enjoyed this uh, simple tutorial today on how to make color by number coloring pages in Microsoft PowerPoint. I'll see you in the next video.